Hello guys, a very exciting day as Meta has released the much awaited Llama 3 model. In this video, I am going to show you how you can fine tune this Llama 3 model on your own custom data set. I will be using Google Colab for this purpose, but you can use any other local system wherever you have Python and other prerequisites installed. Before I show you what exactly this uh, fine tuning of Llama 3 model involves, let me give you a quick overview of this Llama 3 model. If you are interested in installing it on your local system, then I already have done a couple of videos as you can see. You can install this Llama 3 locally on Windows. I just did it like a few minutes ago. And also the whole overview in detail as what Llama 3 model is, you can search it out on the channel. Now, coming back to this Llama 3 model, this has been just released like a few hours ago. And this comes in two variants, 8 billion and 70 billion models. And this is just a text only model. <clears throat> Lama will, uh, Meta is also going to release a 400 billion model very soon. This comes in base and instruct model at the moment. The context length is 8K. It has been trained on 15 trillion tokens and it has been trained on eight times more code in the Lama 2 model. It uses 48,000 GPUs for training. And it has already beaten Mixtrol and a few other like Gemma, Claude on various benchmarks. The knowledge cutoff date for this model is December 2023. And there is a community, community license and then there is a commercial license. So all in all, I think one of the most capable open source model in the wild in the open source these days. Give it a try and see how you go. Now let's go to my Google Colab. As you can see, this is my Google Colab where I'm going to get it installed. Cancel these release notes. Let's go to runtime, change the runtime to T4 GPU. And now let's check out the CUDA version first. And the tool which I'm going to use by the way is this Unsloth. This is the Unsloth, so really hats off to the creator of Unsloth. I'm a big fan. I also have done the interview of its founder. So if you're not aware of what Unsloth is, I have done few videos on Unsloth, so please check them out. Okay, so let's try it out. And your know, credit goes to the creator of Unsloth who has created this whole app. So let's wait for it to finish. And then we are going to start our model and tokenizer download. Your first prerequisite installation is done. And now let's specify our unsloth import and then our models which we are going to do. So for this one, we are just going to do the Llama 3 one. As you can see here in 4-bit, let's try to run it. It is going to use the fast language model to load everything here. And it is going to take a bit of a time. As you can see, the model size in 4-bit is just 5.7 gig. Let's wait for it to finish. Model is almost downloaded. And tokenizer has also been loaded here. It won't be long now. That is done. And now let's also add the LoRa adapter so that we would only update 1 to 10% of the parameters. That is also done. And now we'll be using our own custom data set. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to use the Alpaca one. But of course, if you have your own uh, data set in the similar format for instruction input and output, you can use that one. But as you can see, this is the usual alpaca format, which I'm going to use with all the bells and whistles of formatting the prompt, just defining this function. And then you can see that this has already been loaded because I'm not loading the all of it, just a few of it. Now let's use Hugging Face TRL library to for the fine tuning there you go so i'm just importing it from the sft trainer and then i'm defining the trainer for all these parameters and i have already explained them in few other videos so if you don't know what these are please feel free to check those videos out let it define won't take long because you can see that it is just going through numprox at the moment
it is almost there and that is done now let's start our trainer and this is going to take bit of a time and unflock actually makes it bit faster if and i would highly suggest you that if you regularly fine tune your models then i would uh, highly recommend this unflock in order for your fine tuning job special now this is going to take bit of a time and the interesting thing is that as it fine tunes it is going to <clears throat> show you the training loss and you will see that this training loss starts coming down as it is making more and more passes so let's wait for it to proceed you see that it is coming down now so it is going to take bit of a time so i will let it run and then once it is near completion or complete that we will resume the training is still running and you can see that the loss has come fair bit down i think it should be nearing to completion now so that is i think almost done now if you think about it what we have done is we have just loaded the model we have loaded our data set and all we have done is we have just run that training fine tuning job there that's about it fine tuning is done eventually and now let's do the inference of on this model so all i'm doing it i'm just copying the alpaca prompt from the top then using the fast language model for inference inputting my prompt which is simply asking the instruction is continue the fibonacci sequence this is the input and we have kept the output blank so that it will be filled by the model and then i am putting the pytorch to the cuda which is a gpu t4 which we are using and then we are using tokenizer to decode the output so let's run it wait don't take too long and that is done and you can see that it has produced that uh, fibonacci sequence and you can use any um, prompt of your choice so this is how easy it is to get this model use your own custom data set and just fine tune on fine tune it on any of the data set if you want to save this model locally all you need to do is to use this command model dot save pre-train and if you want to uh, push this model to hugging face just log into hugging face by using hugging face login and then push to hub that's all you need so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it so i will be doing more and more videos in the coming days and uh, because i think llama 3 is not going to stop they also have a 400 billion parameter model which is coming soon plus there are a lot of features which are still needs to be explored so stay tuned and i will drop the link to my other videos of llama 3 in the video's description and in the comments so please watch them out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching